Barbara Coffey, Director of Economic Initiatives for the City of Tucson, and happy to represent our Southern Arizona Coalition. So the Southern Arizona Coalition for Climate Adaptation and Resilience brings together diverse and previously under-coordinated organizations and industries to create growth in our region. Hopefully you can start to see this. Critical to our arid region that focuses on sustainable agriculture, water resources, and clean energy. The goal is to accelerate our region's emergence as a national center of climate adaptation and resilience, resulting in tangible economic growth. Our unique value proposition lies in our existing assets, our intentional equity-based framework, and the development of a reproducible model for communities to organize around climate challenges at a regional scale. Our region has the longest continuous agricultural community in North America, spanning 4,000 years. Food production is deeply embedded in our culture as evidenced by UNESCO gastronomy and national heritage area designations. We're home to numerous leaders in agricultural production with new sustainable agriculture and clean energy companies emerging, attracted by the innovative research at tier one research institution, the University of Arizona. Our region's nationally essential agriculture provides 90% of winter leafy greens to all of North America, but is threatened with 90% of our state experiencing exceptional drought. Further, Arizona is facing a 20% reduction in Colorado River water, negatively impacting our ag industry, which accounts for nearly 70% of all water usage in the state. This cluster supports more than 400,000 jobs and adds $50 billion to our state and is especially critical to our tribal communities with almost 20,000 indigenous farmers and ranchers in Arizona, comprising about 57% of the agricultural operators. Our coalition agreed on a deep commitment to equity in this process and challenge. We have a significant opportunity to transform our, um, well, what we call our eco pieces into a vibrant ecosystem through unprecedented integration at all levels. We have been intentional in our process, recognizing historical inequities usually present in economic development. So created, we created an equity plan that will support program development from traditional underrepresented rural areas and community-based entities as part of this effort. So I'll share now about our six key projects. The University of Arizona proposes a future of farming regional hub that will build an ecosystem focused on precision field agriculture and indoor farming innovation. The hub will also encourage research and innovation related to alternative energy production waste management. Pima Community College and Arizona Western College have teamed up to address workforce development. Their plan includes the launch of Project Stealth, Sustainable Transportation Equipment, Agriculture and Logistics Training Hub, which is designed to prepare Southern Arizona for the competencies and skills needed to enter these sustainability industry sectors, training them for the jobs generated by our projects. Startup Tucson and the University of Arizona Center for Innovation proposes a project called Sustain, a place for food and agricultural innovation. This test and production kitchen and lab will serve both scalable science and technology startups, as well as local community food-based entrepreneurs who crave access to this kind of test kitchen, a true need in our region. The city of Tucson will transform its 1,100 acre landfill site into the Los Reales Sustainability Campus, developing shovel ready sites on city owned property to attract private industries that can benefit from proximity to the landfill to create jobs that will uh, capture methane gases to power manufacturing operations or use diverted waste stream as feedstock for manufacturing. Partnerships with the university will allow us to test and research solutions that can then be transferred to the ag sector and further create a biocircular economy, one that takes ag waste and turns it into fuel, solving for what has been largely inefficient and costly that will help us create sustainable and resilient industries going forward. Yuma's ubiquitous wireless broadband infrastructure project will enable for the first time underserved communities in sparsely populated areas access to affordable, stable, high-speed internet, impacting more than 450 farms so they can deploy precision agriculture technology to reduce the use of water pesticides and create more resilient and sustainable farming enterprises. And finally, Community Investment Corporation proposes a Southern Arizona Equitable Revolving Loan Fund to serve the entire region including Yuma County, catalyzing funds to promote equity and innovation. 
So the, some of the impacts listed here that we're expecting from this work, really regardless of EDA funding, the Southern Arizona Coalition has committed to continuing its collaborative work with the intent of realizing transformational change in the areas of economic recovery and resiliency related to climate challenges and economic development in our region. We're doing economic development in a whole new way, thinking about the industries and jobs of the future and about transforming our region for long-term resiliency, climate adaptation, and improving quality of life for our region's most vulnerable populations. And with that, I have members of our coalition here today. And we're happy to, have, happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you.